change. You have to make a choice in order to take a chance for the change to happen, for the betterment of life. I have divided my speech into three sections, similar to the three sections of a Toastmasters meeting. Starting with my work and schooling. This is similar to the prepared speech section where all I have to do is follow the path laid out by elders or the respective mentors. The second one is about my career. This is where the table topics comes into picture, where I have to do intelligent, desirable answers as required by higher management or the table topics master. The third one is about my marriage. <laughs> this is where the evaluation comes into picture and my wife doesn't hesitate to give repeated positive constructive feedback. <laughs> to start off with my birth and schooling, I was born in a small town called Goka. How many of you have heard of Goka? What's it famous for? Right. Kardantu, the famous uh, Falls, Gokak Falls, and the poet V.K. Gokak. After my birth, we shifted our base from Gokak to Bangalore. I did my schooling from 1st standard to 10th standard in Kendra Vidyalaya. After my 10th, my father got transferred to New Delhi. This was a government transferable job. And I did my 11th and 12th in New Delhi. After my 12th, I had to come back to Bangalore to follow the usual process take up the CAT entrance exam, get into engineering, finally decide what you exactly want to do in life. <laughs> this is where the table topic section begins. I was given four chits to pick from. Engineering in electronics and communication, computer science, telecom and information science. The last two are nothing but the repeat of the first two. <laughs> I took electronics and communication. After about four years of engineering, again I was given four chits to pick from. TCS, Infosys, Wimpro and HCL. The mass recruiters at that time. This time there was absolutely no difference between any of them. <laughs> Except for if you chose TCS, you would have to work in Chennai. I got Chennai. After about two years of work ex, again I was given another chip to pick from. Go for higher studies or continue my work ex. I chose higher studies. Then I came back to Bangalore to do my post graduation. But this time I took computer science because I knew that the first chip that I had picked of electronics and communication was not the right one for me. Then I did my post-graduation in computer science and got into a software company. I was just leading the life of another software engineer, as usual. Until I got to know that my table topic section time had ended. And I was forcibly put into evaluation mode. My marriage. In the year 2013, I got married to Dr. Anusha. She is an Ayurvedic doctor. Little did I know that doctor's daily job was screaming, sorry, screening and <laughs> daily I get evaluated by my wife telling, you don't have a proper daily regime, you don't exercise, you don't have anything proper in your life, why don't you just follow my instructions blindly? <laughs> this is when I decided it's high time I bring my wife to a Toastmasters meeting and show her how things are done over here. I specifically wanted to show three things. First is how to give an effective feedback that actually works. <laughs> Start off with a positive note. <laughs> Slowly get into areas of improvement. And while telling your areas of improvement, you should not raise your tone. <laughs> In fact, it has to be so smooth that the other person will like your areas of improvement. <laughs> and then finally end your feedback with a positive note, bringing out all the good things in the speaker. The second thing that I wanted to show her was 
how to give. Uh, the second thing I wanted to show her was how to applaud and encourage rather than <laughs> blindly asking to blindly follow the instructions. Because we seldom do this in our own family members. And what we have seen this seen is Bangalore Toastmasters is where the leaders are made and not just blind followers. The third thing that I wanted to show her was how to do all of this without any expectations from the other end. <laughs> Luckily, my wife did not turn up to this meeting and she, I, maybe I'll call her for the next meeting. Finally, I would like to say that hats off to a Toastmasters way of life and hats off to a Toastmasters mindset.